used to be uh, one of our better bookers at the electric factory. Right, right. And we've been in contact through all these years, and he asked me to join him in a project uh, to revamp and reopen the Lansdowne Theater as a concert uh, hall. Um, this was four years ago, and we're still working on the project, and it, it looks like it may be nearing its end. Interesting. One way or another. How, how, how many seats in it? It'll be 1,300 oh, seats. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's Interesting. on the main line. It's on Delaware County, and yeah, yeah. it's in the middle of Lansdowne. Uh, and uh, it seems like a viable concept. Uh, yeah. We were just trying to make it work. And um, you've also, um, you've got something to do. You have to explain to me that you, is it you and your daughter that, that do the Hope's Cookies? Uh? Yeah, my daughter uh, Hope, yeah, is, is Hope. Is, she founded Hope's Cookies. Those are some good cookies, man. Uh, there are some damn good cookies. There are some damn good cookies right, uh, right there. Another one of those damn good cookies, you'll find a box tomorrow morning in your mail. All right. <laughs> Those are but some yeah, good she she was uh, <laughs> going to she was going to school and uh, she had an accident uh, had a foot accident she was laid up for a while and she like a million other kids were weaned off the Pillsbury logs that you cut up sure. with a toaster sure and one day at dinner uh, she said you know I think it's time uh, I would like to make a gourmet cookie batter. Which this is, you know, this is not really good stuff. Right, and right. And after quite a few arguments between that and medical school, she won, thank God. Yeah. And uh, she went on to become a... So a these are all her, her recipes and her creation, yeah? The, her, Fantastic. Yes. yes. That's and, awesome. And uh, she's the cookie maven of the family. Up there on the... And a lot of other families. Uh, well, Herb, I'll tell you, I uh, like I said, man, I I, uh, I appreciate you coming by today. It's, I think I think our audience has been just really into this conversation. I know I have, and uh, and I hopefully come, you'll come back again and spend some more time with us, and you know, tell some more stories. I'm always I up for that. Got plenty of stories if you want to hear. It. Not I only hear rock them. stories, we got plenty of stories. I want to hear them. Herb uh, Herb Spivak, uh, my guest today. Uh, one of the other groups that played. You know, I read. I, I did some research before you came on. One of the, the things that everybody kept mentioning, I don't know if you remember this, because once again, Herb was doing a lot of things at this festival, not just the music. I mean, you were running around keeping an eye on the vendors and the people coming in. I'm sure you had security concerns and all that. Very much so. But everybody talks about Procol Harum doing Wider Shade of Pale at that, this festival. The Wider Shade of Pale is probably one of my favorite songs of that era. And it's such an it, anthem, yeah? It's just great. Uh, in fact, I have some very good memories of that with my wife, and I think a lot of people. It's a great that. dance music, and we spent a night listening and dancing, and it was just one of my better memorable nights with Proko Harum. And they, I mean, if, if you read about it, everybody brings this up. People who are at the event uh, bring up what you, such a great dynamic version of this classic song from Proko Harum, which I'm going to play next for you. Thanks again, Herb. It's all my pleasure. Anytime you want me back, just uh, give me a call. Oh, well, we're going we're gonna to have you Thank back you. in. This is uh, Proko Harum uh, as we finish up the top five at five here at XPN. Thank you, Dan. That was fantastic, man. Thank you. That's it. Okay. Really